Well, uh, hi everyone. My name is Javier with Pere, and I am a PhD student in Amazonian archaeobotany at the Casas Research Group in the University Pompeu Fabra here in Barcelona. Uh, and I'm going to briefly present the project we are carrying out in the Llanos de Mojos, southwestern Amazonia. The increasing discovery of numerous pre Columbian settlements in the Amazonia has led archaeologists of the lowland neotropics to question how ancient societies adopted to, the, to this biome and what was the impact on the landscapes resulting from their activities. Archaeological evidence for complex agricultural societies has been found in many areas of the Amazon basin. The large amount of heter heterogeneity of the archaeological remains, such as earthworks in southwestern Amazonia or the famous anthropogenic dark earths along the coasts of major Brazilian rivers, constitute a testimony of the cultural diversity that characterized the Amazonia and the level of, tran of landscape transformations carried out by generations of people. Indeed, for some researchers, this is the reason why Amazonia should be considered as a domesticated landscape. The Llanos de Mojos, where we are investigating, is located in the lowlands of Bolivia. It's a huge flood savanna of circa 150,000 square kilometers, where patches of riverine gallery forest appear interspersed. The Llanos has an impressive archaeological landscape characterized by the great variety of earthworks, such as monumental mounds, raised fields, canals, causeways, all of them made by pre-Columbian late Holocene agrarian societies that greatly modified their landscapes. For example, recently it has been calculated that in the Llanos there are about 550 square kilometers of raised fields, and now we know that they were used to cultivate maize and manioc. However, the presence of pre-Columbian populations in this territory leads back to early Holocene times. Another type of earthworks is widely scattered across the Llanos. Those raised patches of forest that you can see in this picture, which are usually circular, are called forest islands. There are hundreds in the Llanos, and the excavation of one of them revealed that it is a prehistoric artificial mound made by, made by early to mid Holocene hunter-gatherers and then it was reoccupied by agriculturalist populations of late Holocene. This excavation was carried out at Isla del Tesoro. It showed a first occupation which spans from about 10,500 years to 4,000 years before present. The people who inhabited this area at this time were hunter-gatherers that made a shared medium, obviously by the consumption of snails, although they also, for example, hunted mammals or catch fish. Then the site was abandoned and it was reoccupied approximately until the arrival of the Europeans to South America by a group or groups that apparently were no longer involved in hunting and gathering activities and that otherwise were producing ceramic pottery. Reason why we interpret them as agricultural groups. Well, this finding stimulated new questions about forest islands. How many of them are of actual anthrop anthropic origin? What is their general chronology? Which were the societies that built them? And how they, did they subsist? This is why we decided to visit another area of the Llanos where forest islands are also present to do a survey and an archeological excavation. We choose the Barbazul Nature Reserve where we, within 100 hectares, there are 24 forest islands and hundreds of pre-Columbian race fields, sometimes found in association with some of the islands. We visited 19 of these 24 forest islands, and all of them have high concentrations of, of organic-rich sediments, wood charcoals, burnt earths, and pottery. So all of them are anthropogenic. Then we excavated one of those islands, locally known as Isla Manechi. It's a huge settlement located next to a Palo channel and has raised fields in its surrounding. 
there, we also identified two main phases. The oldest one is from early Holocene, at around 10,000 years before present. And it's a layer of extremely compact burned earths with large presence of charcoals. Although the occupation was of really short duration. Unfortunately, we did not find any other evidence to help us understand what kind of occupation it was. Then there is a hiatus of about 5,000 years after the first phase, and the site was reoccupied during 2,000 years, between circa 5,000 years and 3,000 years before present. This layer corresponds to an, occup an occupation of people who produced pottery and cultivated squash and maize, as shown by the phytolith analysis I carried out from sediments. It's interesting because unlike Isla del Tesoro, Isla Maneci is not a shell medium, and on the other hand, the ceramic phase is much longer, with the early Holocene phase, while the, the early Holocene phase is much shorter. Moreover, while Isla Maneci is surrounded by raised hills, Isla del Tesoro doesn't. As we have seen, forest islands were home of hunter-gatherer and agriculturalist populations in the Bolivian Amazon during the Holocene. Our results show that these settlements were made by different groups that exploited different resources at different places and chronologies. So forest islands are long-term archives of human occupations key to better comprehend the degree of land use that southwestern Amazonia has supported during several thousands of years as a result of the economic and cultural activities carried out by the pre-Columbian Indians. What they present is the result of preliminary investigations, but further research on forest islands is required to fully reconstruct land use practices in this particular region of Amazonia. We need to confirm, for example, how many forest islands are anthropogenic if some of them are natural. And given the dissimilarity of the two islands investigated that I show you. We also need to delve into what kind of subsistence strategies were practiced by the inhabitants of the islands, or which of these sites were built and or occupied at the same or different times. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>